The Lipskys and the Fragers, two families living in the same Jerusalem apartment building, were having a spat. The Lipskys' first floor apartment faced the street, and they had become a target for thieves. They decided to have their balcony fenced in to keep intruders out. The Fragers, who lived directly above them, heard about these plans and were not happy. They were worried that enclosing the first floor balcony would enable burglars to hoist themselves up onto the second floor balcony, making their apartment susceptible to break-ins. Although the Fragers acknowledged that the Lipskys had a problem, they felt that their own family's safety was being compromised, and therefore they should have a say in the matter. They asked the Lipskys if they could find another solution to the intrusion problem, but the Lipskys could not think of anything, and told the Fragers that they were continuing with their plans. The Lipskys felt it was not fair for the Fragers to ask them not to build the fence. This caused major strife between the two families. The Bookstein family lived on the third floor, directly above the Fragers and Lipskys, and when they heard about the dispute, they decided to get involved. Asher Bookstein was known for his exemplary character and for being a peacemaker. He invited the Lipskys and the Fragers to his home and told them that he understood each of their concerns and posed an alternative solution. He said, in addition to the fence that the Lipskys are building, I will pay for a fence for the second floor balcony so that the Fragers do not need to worry about someone hoisting themselves onto their balcony. He then finished by saying, Shalom, peace, is what's most important. I want everyone in the building to not only feel secure, but to live in peace and harmony, as we all have for years. The two families were amazed and inspired by Mr. Bookstein's generosity, and happy that their dispute was resolved and Shalom was restored. Weeks after both fences were built, Asher Bookstein and his wife visited friends down the block. The younger children were asleep, and their 14-year-old daughter agreed to babysit. An hour after they left, a fire broke out in the Bookstein's apartment. Within seconds, the fire and smoke in the dining room was visible to people on the street. Before anyone could even call the fire department, neighbors ran up to save the Bookstein children, but the front door was locked. The fire was centered near the door, so none of the children could get out. Frantically, Young men outside climbed up the Lipsky's balcony fence, and then onto the Frager's fence, and onto the Bookstein's balcony. They broke into the apartment, and took the children to the safety of their balcony. Minutes later, the fire department came, knocked down the front door, and put out the blaze. The Bookstein's had fought to prevent the fires of conflict, and in the process, prevented a catastrophe from befalling their family. Peace is central to Judaism. The final blessing in the Shemona Esrei prayer is Sim Shalom, where we ask the Almighty to establish peace in the world. We conclude the Berkat Hamazon, Grace After Meals, with the words Hashem Yivarech Esamo Shalom. The Almighty will bless His people with peace. And at the end of Berkat Kawanim, the priestly blessing, are the words V'yasem Lecha Shalom. May the Almighty establish peace for you. Peace is the glue that holds mankind together. Without it, the world is fractured, resulting in conflict, separation, and even war. Like Asher Bookstein, we can all make peace a top priority and do our part to bring peace within our own families, between families and neighbors, communities, and even the world. When we help establish peace amongst those around us, we bring the ultimate blessing to the world.